What is up, you guys? What is going on? It's your girl, Yesenia Wanna Be In UA. I'm not sure which video is gonna go up first. I did film two videos today. I'm filming this one, and then I did film the uh, look you see here using some new makeup from the drugstore. Um, it was kind of like a quick how I get ready for work slash new makeup type video. So I'm not sure if that's gonna go up first or if this video is going up first. I bet this one will be up first because it's gonna be really quick. It's not gonna be like a tutorial. This is going to be the Jeffree Star Deluxe. It's huge, it's not gonna fit. This is the Jeffree Star Deluxe box. I also ordered the premium box, but for some reason they ship separately. So I got this one today and then I get the premium box on Monday, which I cannot wait for. This isn't a surprise to me. I know what's in these boxes. I am the most impatient person you will ever know or meet in your life. So I literally checked YouTube every day until someone posted a video because I just wanted to know what was in them. So I know what's in these boxes, but there are a couple variations. So I'm still excited to unbox this. This one is again, the deluxe box. This was the $100 box. Now, <laughs> There was a little bit of um, a struggle to purchase the boxes as I knew there would be, but I had a little bit of more hope just because Jeffrey said they were taking off Afterpay, which sucked because then I couldn't, you know, do the four payments. If you've never used Afterpay, basically what it is is it's an app and it splits your payments up in four. So I spent $200. If I had used the Afterpay app, I would have only had to spend 50 and then it breaks up the payments over time, but they took it off. And the reason they said they took it off was so that the site would run smoother and there wouldn't be any glitches and whatever, whatever. And so I was like, okay, you know what? If taking after payoff means that I'm not gonna have to sit on my phone for two hours trying to buy something, well, then that, that would be great, wouldn't it? So I was kind of excited about the fact that Afterpay wouldn't be on because they said that it would fix their site and they wouldn't have any crashes or anything like that. <laughs> that obviously didn't work because there was a glitch in his site. I originally wanted the Supreme box, the $145 box, but I was not able to get that box because, ah, goodbye. I was not able to get that box because something was happening on my phone where, um, when I was trying to click on the drop down. So here's the story. I was on the site at 1030 refreshing you know just in case by accident it got launched early whatever so i was on the site already and then as soon as 11 hit the boxes were on i, I clicked on them and the only option it gave me was premium at the time i didn't want the premium box the only box i wanted was the uh the supreme box so i was sitting there clicking on that down bar for like literally 30 minutes i'm not even joking trying to get it to drop down and i would refresh the page exit out exit out of my browser go back in like doing all these things and it wouldn't work um by the time i did get it to work the only boxes that were left were the supreme and or excuse me the deluxe and the premium so i decided to go with these two and i'm actually really really happy because in the supreme box they got blue blood <laughs> what <laughs> he put blue blood in the supreme box okay we got blue blood in the premium box for black friday okay i actually have that palette because i got the premium box during black friday so if i had gotten the box and blue blood was in there i would have been very 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 upset because i don't need two of them i've literally never even used the blue blood palette like <laughs> I've never had a chance to use it. I've never felt inclined to use it. Do I love it? Do, is it stunning? Am I happy I own it? Yes, but I don't, I wouldn't need to. There was also a tote bag in there. The side bag looked cool, but he put a tote bag in there. Like why? He also put a pop socket in there. Um, there was the brain freeze palette was in there, which I would have actually really loved, but I don't even remember what else was in there because it just wasn't that good of a box. Honestly, not a lot of the things that I've seen are in the boxes are that great, but I am kind of excited for these. So I got, again, the deluxe box, which is right here. I got it in a size large. I wish I got it in a size medium, but that size option wasn't available. By the time I was able to order it, it was sold out. So I got the large one and I was really hoping a hoodie was in here. I don't know why I thought he would put a hoodie in it, but it's a t-shirt. So um, I know what the t-shirt is. I know what the hat is and I'm not a hat person, but maybe 
I'll try it on and love it. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the box and see what's in here, even though I kind of already know what's in here, but hopefully there's some variations and maybe I won't know what's in here. So this is what it looks like. Uh, I love how he wraps all this stuff with tissue paper and it just looks really, really cool. So the first thing that's on top is the hat. Now, I guess this was considered one of the exclusives and people are kind of upset because he already has this hat on his website but the difference is that one's made out of satin this one is cotton so it's it's exclusive bitch you can't get this cotton pink hat anywhere okay so it's kind of like bent weird I'm trying to it's like flat but I think it's supposed to be bent so let me just bend that the inside is pretty cool so let me just what do you think do I look cute with a hat? I feel like the hat looks weird. Like, why is it crooked, number one? I don't know. I think it's kind of cute, actually, now that I see it. I just think it, like, looks weird from here on. It's like, the it looks weird. Like, I feel like it should be, like, smoother. Maybe it's because it, like, is wrinkly, maybe. I don't know. I'm, like, not hating it, actually. Like, I was kind of really disappointed when I saw this hat, but... I've never worn a hat and I feel like I kind of look cute or is that just me? I don't know. I'm kind of like digging it. I'm not going to leave this on or you know what? I'm actually going to leave it on because I'm kind of like actually really digging it. So that's a surprise. I was actually really upset about the hat but now that I'm like wearing it I feel like I'm a hat girl now. The next thing we get in here is the shirt. Again I got it in a large. I'm kind of upset. It's going to be too big but maybe it'll like shrink in the dryer or something or I could just like tie it up but this is what it looks like oh yeah it's really big um this is what it looks like and it has the heart on it right here and then the back is really really cool it has all the jeffree star valentine's day hearts which a lot of people were upset about this too because if they bought the hoodie they now have this shirt so i don't know i don't know that i would be upset if i got the shirt and the hoodie because the shirt is pretty cute um I'm definitely gonna have to tie it up because it is pretty big I, sh I wish I could have had the medium but it's totally fine it's actually really 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 cute and I can't wait to wear this should I wear it now and match with my hat my visco girl now the next thing is some tissue paper I'm gonna save this you never know when you need some tissue paper for a gift or something <gasps> yay okay so the next thing in here um are these straws i'm so happy i got the black straws the all the pictures i've seen are green straws and i was kind of like that color is hideous but this one is actually really really cool and i've never had metal straws these are 18 dollars, so this is really exciting i can't wait to start being that bitch that uses metal straws and it comes with a cleaner i don't know how to take these out comes with a cleaner this little brush guy here and then all this little straw say jeffree star there's one that sticks up straight oh my god these are so cool oh my goodness i did not think i would be as excited about these as i was like as i am like when i saw straws i was like we're getting straws i mean i'm pretty happy about it though because i don't think straws would ever be something i would by myself like I don't think I would ever spend $18 on straws but it is good for the environment the little box says save the turtles on it which is really really cute so I'm actually really happy about these back it says be iconic and classy with these Jeffree Star approved custom onyx stainless steel straws okay we trying to be iconic and classy so you better go out and get your straws otherwise you're not so so the next thing in here I'm not really that like excited about this is um, the mini breaker I don't own the mini breaker I never wanted to own the mini breaker just from the pictures I've seen it doesn't look like my vibe this is what it looks like the packaging is really really neon um, I didn't let me see what it looks like in person maybe I'll my mind will change people are pissed about this one this is the palette that comes in the medium size box, okay? I would have assumed Jeffrey was going to put this in the small box, 
blue blood in the medium box and then spoiler <laughs> we're getting the alien palette in the small box so i would have thought that the alien palette should have went in the biggest box this should have went in the smallest box and blue blood should have went in the medium box i don't know what his thought process was i don't even care because i'm getting alien palette i'm so excited that palette is gorgeous and it, he's discontinuing it so I'm so excited for that small box. I'm so glad I bought it instead of the big box. It was kind of like fate. At the time, I was super pissed that I couldn't get the bigger box, but now it's like it was meant to be. So here's the mini breaker. It's actually gorgeous, the packaging. Like it's really, really, really cool. But a lot of people are upset because he put this in every single one of the mystery boxes. I didn't get mystery boxes until Black Friday, but the Halloween boxes, this, um, the Black Friday boxes, these boxes contain the mini breaker and people are upset. And I swore he was gonna put mini controversy and blood sugar in these boxes. I don't know why he didn't put blood sugar in the boxes. Like it's Valentine's day, it's a red palette. I was like so sure it was gonna be in that Supreme box. Um, and I thought mini controversy was gonna be in one of the smaller ones, but I guess he didn't do that because Shane owns it as well and so it would just be Jeffrey making money off the boxes and Shane, like they wouldn't be able, I don't know how it works, but since Shane is part of that collection, he couldn't put them in the boxes because he wouldn't be able to get like any money from it or something. But I know he's got excess of those. That palette like never sold out. Like you can go on his website right now and still buy it. So that's why I was kind of thinking he was gonna do that. But um, this is what Mini Breaker looks like. It's actually pretty. Um, I just feel like it's a lot of purples and it just looks, the same like it just looks like a palette of all the same shades like there's two like of these brownie shades a lot of purples um so I don't know I'll have to see how I feel about this maybe I'll save it for a giveaway maybe I'll give it away to a friend maybe I'll keep it the shade orange crush is actually really really cool so I don't know I'm glad that I have more Jeffrey makeup now uh now I officially own like four of his palettes five one two three four Four. so that's really cool um i don't know we'll have to see i do think this is cool but it sucks for those people who keep getting them in the boxes and they literally have five of these or they've given away five of these just because they keep getting it so we'll have to see but that's one of the items so next thing i see in here is this this is called oh i want to mm. I wanted the other shade. This is the the gloss and this one is in the shade Candy Drip. I wanted the other one. The other one was called Legends o Legends Only and it was this beautiful like nude gloss. Um, I don't own any of Jeffrey's glosses. I do have two of his liquid lips from the um, holiday collection but I don't know what this is going to look like. So I am kind of surprised because I thought everyone was getting Legends only. This one is in a different shade and it's called Candy Drip. The packaging is really pretty. Oh wow, the packaging. This is my first gloss from him and the packaging is so cool. The gloss is like this pink glittery shade. I honestly thought it was going to be like a bright pink, but this is more of like a baby pink. So I am actually might be able to wear it like with like actually liking it so let me just try some of this on right now because it seems kind of cute why is that actually like beautiful that is so pretty why am i like a vibe right now like look at me i'm like all pinked out it's i usually don't wear a lot of pinks but my eyeshadow you can't really see it because of this hat but it's like a soft baby pink moment and then i have this now oh my it smells so good is it supposed to smell like that it smells like a straight up piece of cake or something i think it's really pretty i was expecting when i saw it say candy drip in the box kind of looked like this weird pinky red color so i was like oh no but it's a really 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 pretty gloss do you see it it's pretty and i'm just gonna display this because this looks like a little sailor moon wand or something it's so pretty love that i don't know how much those retail for but it's pretty i can so totally wear this at the gym i see girls wearing hats at the gym all the time and i'm like 
Why can't I be like them? But now I can because I have a hat. Okay, the next thing I see in here, I don't know how I feel about it because I don't think it's something I'll actually wear, but it is a Jeffree Star exclusive, so I am going to keep it just because I am a makeup collector and I think it is cool to keep things that he'll never make again and they're like exclusive products. So this one doesn't necessarily have a shade, but it is his uh, Velour Liquid Lip and um, it's like this, from what I've seen, it's like a weird pinky, reddish, orange thing looking color. And I'm just not into like metallic lips. Like that's never been my thing. This one's kind of weird. It's like a weird sheer moment. It's weird. Do you guys see that? That is what it looks like. And it looks more like an eyeshadow. I know you can use his products as like eyeliners. So maybe I'll use this for that. But again, I just think it's cool to own his exclusive products. So I am going to keep that. Will I ever wear it on my lips? No, probably not. Maybe as an eyeliner, but we'll see if that day ever comes. Next thing in here is this, and I'm a little I'm a little nervous about this just because last time I got his mystery box, I got a highlighter, but I couldn't use it because it was like so dark. And I'm pretty sure that shade I got is actually in this palette, but we will have to see. This is the 24K palette, and I don't know why I was thinking I might possibly get the um, other one, I forgot what it's called. I think it's called like Ice Frost or I don't know. It's just the pale, pale palette. So I was thinking maybe I'll get that one. I know that one was a variation in the box. So this says Take Your Glow Everywhere, Blend the Blind the World, Six Shades, Vegan and Cruelty Free. And the packaging of this is so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. So let's see what it looks like. I'm scared. Oh no. Yeah, so the shade that I got from the, the mystery box last time was this one it's called dark horse and i just could not use that whatsoever so i got rid of that one but i feel like maybe sarcophagus this one right here i could use it seems light sort of oh yeah i feel like i could definitely use that let me see if i can i'm already wearing highlight right now but let me see what it looks like like on my decollete because i usually can see oh yeah i can definitely wear that on my face that's good then so it's not like oh yeah I could definitely wear this I'm not gonna wear it right now just because I am wearing highlight already but this is really pretty I could definitely use um this as like a blush even this because I'm into like warm tone blushes this one as an eyeshadow and these as eyeshadows as well so I'm actually not as mad at this as I thought this shade looked a lot darker online so I was like ugh, I'm not gonna be able to use that whatsoever but this is also good to have if you ever do makeup for your friends and family, then you can have um, a highlighter that'll suit them as well if they are different skin tone than you. So that's pretty cool. I'm actually really happy I got this now. And the packaging, again, stunning. Okay. All right, you guys. So the last thing in here is a mirror. And I think I saw someone get this and it was like a pink color. I was hoping for the black and white one just because it's, I like the aesthetic of black and white, but you know what? Uh... Pink is pretty cool too. I love my pink pig mirror from Shane and Jeffrey. So now I have another pink one. So let's see. It has a chrome sticker though. And I noticed on unboxings, the sticker kind of matched the mirror. If this is a chrome one. I'm gonna let you guys see first. If I could open it, I literally can't. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, how cool is this? This is so cool. This is the chrome one. I love this. I don't know which one, which collection this was from. I don't know if it was from the Halloween one or what, but this is so cool. I need to like straight up display this one because this one is so freaking cool. I'm like thoroughly surprised. I was kind of angry when I saw the spoilers before. I was like, what the heck? That box looks like crap. But 
then I saw the bigger box that I actually wanted and I was like, okay, you know what? My box doesn't look that bad anymore compared to that one. So I'm thoroughly surprised, you guys. I actually liked a lot of his stuff in here, like even the straws. I was hoping he was going to put more makeup items in it, but we kind of did get a lot of makeup items. We got two lip products, um, the eyeshadow, and the highlighter. So we got four makeup products, so um, I'm actually not that mad. And this hat is actually pretty cute, so I'm not that mad at it either. And it's actually really cool quality. quality. I forgot to show you guys, it has the Jeffree Star star, the star star right there. So it's not that bad. I kind of jump to anger quickly, so uh, I thought I was going to be disappointed, but I'm actually quite happy and I cannot wait for Monday to get my premium box. So I just cannot wait. Well, there you guys go. That was everything that uh, I got in the premium, the, just the, the deluxe mystery box. I was actually surprised that I was kind of not getting the stuff I saw everyone else getting. So we all basically got the same thing everything the same except the variations are the gloss the mirrors and the straws i i don't think the palette the highlighter palette is a variation because i've never seen anyone else get one i've just heard someone say that there's a variation of that but i've never seen anyone else get one except for the 24k so you could be surprised if you watch spoiler videos too you might be getting different colors of glosses mirrors or straws so that's really cool. I can't wait to get the box on Monday. Definitely stay tuned for that, you guys. I will unbox it when I receive that one as well. Um, I hope you guys have a great night wherever you are, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!